Hello you most beautiful and most amazing top tenors of glory, how are you feeling today? Fantastically I hope. Today we're talking the top 10 pictures that lost people their jobs. Uh oh. So posting a cheeky selfie or funny snap on social media can seem like an excellent idea. That is, until your boss sees it and somehow doesn't see the funny side. So here are 10 people that lost their jobs for that very reason. In at number 10 we have a cheerleader prankster. Have you guys ever done that thing where your friend falls asleep at a party or a sleepover and you draw things on their face? What a hilarious prank, am I right? Especially when you draw a marker pen penis on their face and it's just there for days. Funny? No, not so much in this case. That kind of behaviour, if posted on social media, could lose you your job. This is exactly what happened to an 18 year old cheerleader for the Patriots in 2008. Caitlin Davis was attending Johnson and Wales University at the time this picture was taken and it was taken after a Halloween night out. You know that's like, things get a bit crazy. Caitlin said, me and my girls left the dorm and went to another house and came back to a kid passed out on the futon we were supposed to be sleeping on. The guys ended up drawing on him due to the fact that he was the first one to pass out on Halloween night. What she didn't realise that amongst the sea of male genitalia on this guy's face, someone had also drawn a swastika. She said, I didn't realise what had been drawn on him, which I take responsibility for not being alert. Yeah, people weren't very happy when they saw her posing next to a swastika, which I think we can all understand. In at number 9 we have an Ohio bus driver. So what kind of idiot takes pictures of themselves drinking behind the wheel, then posts it on social media? I mean, it's pretty much against the law and could lead the police right up to your door. On top of that, you'd have to be a downright fool to do it if your job is to be a driver. A driver that transports children to and from school. In 2015, one lady from the Cincinnati area of Ohio was given the boot from First Student Bus Company after a school was made aware of a beer guzzling selfie. In her defence, it is reported that she was at the end of her route and there were no children on board, but that was not enough to save her her job. In at number 8, we have a pipe smoker. So if you're going to do something illegal, then maybe once again don't post it on Facebook. In 2010, a guy who certainly liked a little blaze here and there posted a picture on Facebook of his activities. Now, I think he's smoking pot from a pipe, but it could be something else. Either way, best not to picture yourself taking drugs and put it on Facebook, especially if your boss is your Facebook friend. So a user posted this picture, to which his boss, Andy, said, give me a good reason not to fire you on Monday morning. Eep. In at number 7 we have a teacher on vacation. So Ashley Payne, a young teacher from Georgia in the United States, went on vacation to Europe during the school holidays. During her time away, she posted some snaps from her trip on her Facebook page which had high privacy settings. One of her pictures posted was of her holding a couple of alcoholic drinks and smiling and I have to say, to me this looks pretty tame, she's just having fun. Nonetheless, a person claiming to be a concerned parent emailed the school with the picture. On her return back to Alpachee High High school, she was given an ultimatum resign or be fired. Ashley even took the issue to court and lost. Honestly, I think this is absolutely horrible and shocking. She wasn't doing anything illegal, she was just having fun on vacation, but this picture lost her her job. In at number six, we have a naughty mascot. So, 40 year old mother of three, Tracy Chandler, was a team mascot for British football team, the Doncaster Rovers. In 2011, Tracy wore the Donny Dog team mascot costume and was fired after she posted a snap of herself in lingerie next to the dog's head. Now the image was reportedly part of a shoot for children's charity NSPCC, however when the football club saw it they let her go from the team. Now Tracy was very very upset having been at the club for almost 4 years. In an interview with BBC Radio 5 Live, Tracy said, I am absolutely devastated, I've not stopped crying all morning. She said that they had sent her an email saying they didn't need her services anymore and that she had disgraced the club. It was noted later that she was fired for this image whilst the guys in the team had posed semi nude for the same charity for a calendar a few years earlier. People were crying sexism and she was offered her job back. Go Tracy! In 
number five, we have a Taco Bell employee. Oh, honey, no. The second I saw this picture of an unidentified Taco Bell employee licking a stack of tacos, I knew that he was asking for trouble. This employee and the photographer worked at the Ridgecrest branch in Kern County, California. After the image was posted on Facebook, it made its way to the powers that be in head office. Obviously, the pair that were involved were fired. However, afterwards, Taco Bell did release a statement saying that the image was a prank and they were using a stack of training tacos that were about to be thrown out. Part of the statement read, We do not believe that these employees harmed or intended to harm anyone, but we deplore the impression that this has caused our customers, fans, franchisees, and team members. The behavior is unacceptable for people working in a restaurant. They said that the employees involved were suspended without pay and eventually were terminated. Clearly, in KFC, a lady didn't get the memo that licking food was wrong. In at number four, we have the Kentucky Fried Potato Liquor. In 2013, a high school student with a part time job at KFC in Johnson City, Tennessee, was fired after a picture of her licking a tub of potatoes was posted on Facebook. Unlike in the Taco Bell case, these were real, non training potatoes. KFC posted a statement to say, As soon as our franchisees became aware of the issue, immediate action was taken. The investigation confirmed the photos were taken after the restaurant was closed and that none of the food was served. The employee involved was immediately terminated. So, guys, have we learned our lesson yet that if you work in a food establishment, pretending to do anything with the food and posting it on social media will probably get you fired? So, next up, zoos are supposed to be fun and educational places for families, but who knew that the most savage animal of the day would be a zoo employee? That's right, in at number three, we have a racist zoo worker. In 2015, Shana Latrice uploaded a photo of herself whilst working at Brookfield Zoo in Chicago. She put this picture on both her Instagram and her Facebook. Whilst she probably shouldn't have been taking selfies on the job, this picture of her posing near the Pepsi fridge wasn't the reason she got fired. It was the caption that caused the issue. Alongside her sassy picture, Shana posted, What's up, y'all? At work serving these rude white people. Adding her location as her workplace at the zoo made it easy for people visiting the attraction to see her post. Many were offended and the picture was passed on to her bosses. The zoo responded by saying that this was absolutely unacceptable. They said, We have a zero tolerance for these kinds of divisive behaviours. This individual is no longer employed by the zoo. Yeah. In at number two, we have a daycare worker giving the middle finger. Honestly, it's really hard to believe how stupid some people are. Social media is never, ever, ever safe from prying eyes. In 2016, a 19 year old daycare worker in Mesa, Arizona, posted a picture of her giving the middle finger to a class of toddlers. She even posted a caption saying, I swear I love kids. Now, of course, this isn't acceptable. And to make it even worse, she showed a child's face in the picture, which obviously we've had to blow her out for this video. Kids Play daycare owner Dorothy Thornton said that she had no choice but to fire the young woman who had worked with her for the past seven months. She did note that the teenage worker cried as she knew she had made a mistake. Okay guys, so we have reached that all important moment in our most amazing top 10 pictures that lost people their jobs. In at number one, we have a naked police officer selfie. So what could be more pressing than fighting crime? Getting naked in the back of your squad car and having someone take pictures of you of course. Mexican police officer Nidia Garcia lost her job when this picture surfaced online. Now, yeah, we've obviously had to blank out her nipples. Aside from the picture being taken on work time, her uniform and weapon can be seen clearly. The picture was also taken by a male co worker who was not her husband, so who knows what on earth was going on there. Either way, she was threatened with a firing by Escobedo police, but she decided to quit instead and now works as a stripper. Every cloud. So, that was the top 10 pictures that lost people their jobs. Now, a couple of these were definitely unfair, but if we've learned anything, is that you need to think before posting pictures on social media because chances are they will be seen. If your boss is your friend and you're doing something that would put your job in jeopardy, then probably just don't post about it. So, I'm Rebecca Felgate. You guys can catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, and my own YouTube channel, Rebecca Felgate Official. But for now, make sure you're subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10 for excellent top 10. 10 videos. Also, if you like this video, give it a good old thumbs up, share it with someone that will find it interesting, and I will see you, honeys, next time for another top 10.